Hey friends. I'm digging this look. So I saved my thumb for you. Okay, couple things I have here. Whoa, there we go. Gel polish in this color I liked. I grabbed art gel in the deeper yellow. Listen, it doesn't have to be art gel. If you only have the deeper yellow, mix it with some white and you'll get this. And then I use my art gel in dark green and mix a little bit of the light buttercup yellow in it to get my lighter green. Okay, and then I do recommend an art gel in the black for tracing. Because my base is gel and I wanted to keep everything gel and not do like an acrylic paint. If you're doing this over like normal polish, I would do like an acrylic paint. Just make sure it dries really well before you top coat. I'm a little bit crusty because I kept dehydrating the nail, which we're gonna do right here. Ooh, squeaky clean. I actually buffed it, it still looks a little bit shiny. Okay, and then you're gonna need a dotting tool and an art brush. This is always linked in my bio on Instagram or in the big link below if you're joining me on YouTube. This one is from the Black Art Brush Collection that I have linked. I know that's like super professional title, but it's the best way to describe it because everybody sees the black handle. And it's actually the shortest of them all. And I've cleaned it off in alcohol. I know that can wear down your brushes, but it's how I roll when I switch colors quickly. So I will make it not frayed like that when I get to the black. Okay, here's how you're gonna do this. Get this guy over here. I'm gonna take the dotting tool that has a small end and a big end, but I found I actually just used the little bit bigger end. It's not a huge one, I'd say medium maybe. And my placement's gonna be important. I kind of want to, because my thumbs show when I'm teaching, like I can't be like, look at my nails, look at my nails, but my thumbs show. I kind of want to do some like off to the side and maybe like a little grouping up here. So a bigger lemon here, and maybe two up here. And I thought this idea was kind of fun because you have this contrast going. I might need to touch more just because I've played with it a little. You have this contrast going between the nude or the neutral and the color, and I'm digging that for spring. Plus the black outline kind of gives it that pop, almost like a pop art look, but it's not too cartoony. So here we go. I'm gonna take some of this art gel and what I find is when people do lemons, they do something like this, like a circle. I'm gonna make you change that. So take it, work it out, go more for a bigger oval. And I want my bigger oval falling off my nail, like, like it's part of the lemon. Okay, this is a big old one. Maybe it's like a Myers lemon, right? Give it its little nub on the end. See how I just push that up? And I'm gonna grab some of this darker yellow and just kind of pull it along for dimension. Yeah, I like that. And without even cleaning it off, even though I might have some of the dark, I'll even grab it, some of the dark and some of the lighter. And come up here and do an oval coming out. Maybe a little bigger than I was planning. There we go and a little nubby. Now I didn't get all the way to the edge. Hang tight, we'll fix that. Little of this, little of this. We're gonna give us another lemon. Maybe just, maybe just like the top of one. That's not shaped very good. There we go. Okay, take your liner brush and just run it through, heck, you could just do the lighter one. Come over back here, pull the skin back, and finish your design to the edge. It's the beauty of mushing two colors together is it doesn't have to be perfect. We're actually aiming for not perfect. We want that variation of colors. I just want it a little bit closer to the edge. Hey, that looks pretty good. Do we need this to have a little bit more? color to it. Okay, let's cure this. Now, this gel cures in an LED light in 30 seconds. 
Um, if you have those UV lamps, that typically are gel polish for two minutes, so do two minutes. You want your layers to be cured um, so you don't have them peel off if you're working with gel. If you're using acrylic paint, I would mix before like I did here and then just let this dry all the way before we go in and add the greenery. So I'm gonna clean this brush off on, I'm just gonna take a wipe over here and take off the excess. And then I am gonna use a little alcohol. And oh, that's okay. Fluff it off. Okay, that was exciting. First I'm gonna take, and I'll mix this again, a little bit of the darker, scoop a little bit of the lighter. Oh, we got some fuzzies. No wipe, lies. Oh, that didn't come from that, so I guess I can't lie. Blame it. But we're gonna do a little bit of yellow in the green. What it does is it creates your lighter green within your tones you're using. Um, you can do that with florals too. I'm running my brush through the product. I'm twisting actually as I pull. Okay, so I love the idea of maybe going in and out. Out, a little more on my brush. I'm creating these little leaves. Maybe these leaves are kind of falling off the nail. That would be nice. Okay, up here. It doesn't always have to be on the edge. Let me show you on my other fingers what I did. Like here, see how I had it overlapping and overlapping? That's fun. So maybe we'll do some right right in here. Overlap. Oh my God, that's cute. If you don't like it, you've already cured your yellow, so wipe it off if you don't like it. I think it's good. Do we need some more green anywhere? Oh, you know what? Hi. What would be different and fun is just a couple falling off over here, like there's lemons beyond this border that we just can't see. Yes. Okay. Again, into cure. Again, wiping off. And then I'm not so worried about a forever long cure on this because I'm still going to put it back in. I'm actually just going to run my brush through the darker and just do a little line. Oh, where am I? Sorry, my friends. See that little line? Little line. It can be curved a little, it can be straight. Just gives it a little bit of detail. Um, our little extra guys over here because we're being a little extra. Wherever that phrase came from. And we're curing. Okay. At this point, I do want to make sure my brush is clean. No lint from the lying lintless wipes. And I am going to take an art gel pod. That would be good right there. And how I'm going to use this is I'm going to go in and I'm going to use the side to kind of wipe it. So it's not like I'm going in and have this huge amount on there. That's like way too much. Wipe it off. I prefer if this tracing's a little sketchy. Oh, still has a lot. So I'm just going to light handedly go through and curves can be tricky so just break it up that's great I'm 
Let's grab the right amount. to these guys so I'm just gonna trace 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 something on this lemon that I find is really fun to do is dip your little tip in and let's accentuate some of the dimples kind of in a grouping you can kind of walk away that's fun. Okay, lemon. Now, with over here, I'm not gonna trace where the leaf is. I'm gonna let the leaf be the overlying. So I'm just doing the lemon. Perfect. Get those leaves traced. Kind of scrape some down off my brush so I can have it on the tip. See, then that goes in on the leaf tracing on the inside. Now we want to do a little bit of dimples. So, hmm. I think this one's going to be right here. Not perfect. And then this one, just a few over here. Okay, I'm going to cover up my art pod and cure this. If you don't cover those up because they are gel, even a reflecting window could cure things. And you don't want to have that happen. Another thing you can do while things are curing is take a little alcohol and clean up so you don't stick your hand in things. That's kind of nice. And then get your top coat ready. This would be super cute, Matt. I am actually super game for it being shiny right now. So that's what we're going to do. I am going to use enough of my top coat on my brush actually to float it a little. What that means is if you press it in, you could end up with the bumpiness from the art, which is normally, I mean, it's not something that I worry a tremendous amount about. So instead of pressing it in, I'm going to float over it where I'm not putting pressure. And I'm even gonna flip it a little because I put a little extra product on there. And then see how it's smooth. Love it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you get in the lemon club with me.